I've been neglecting my YouTube channel. Mm. Nobody wants crusty brows. A little bit of setting, setting. She's blushing. I mean, wow. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Long time no see. I know I have just been, I've just, I've just fallen off. I've fallen off the bandwagon, I've got out of my routine and I've been neglecting my YouTube channel. 2022, just towards the end, I just kind of lost a bit of a grip on it guys. But now that we're back in 2023, one of my resolutions to start being a bit more regular on here and just being, getting back on my BS basically and getting myself together. I thought what better way to start 2023 than to have a bit of a catch up and do a get ready with me. And I also really wanted to do an updated hair tutorial with the Revlon Root Booster because you guys really liked that video last time and I just got my hair cut and not gonna lie guys, I feel like I have cracked the code. I did my hair with this the other day and the results were just chef's kiss. So I feel like I've kind of, I've got the formula. I've got it on lock. It is the weekend now. I've got up. I've been to the gym for the first time in seven billion years. So I'm actually a bit wobbly right now, but that's fine. So I just put in this Grow Gorgeous scalp tonic and their intense growth serum. I love this stuff mainly because I'm literally obsessed with the smell. Like, mmm. Honestly, I want to wear this as perfume. Like, there's something about this smell. If you guys have used Grow Gorgeous before, you know what I'm talking about. I'm literally obsessed. And then lastly, I just applied this Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. It's just like a leave-in style treatment that I just like to put at the end of my hair to protect it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get ready. First things first, before I get into using the Root Booster, I'm just gonna start by blasting off my hair with a hair dryer because you don't want to be using the root booster on wet hair because firstly it's going to take 7 billion years to to dry and secondly it's probably going to damage your hair so start off with the standard hair dryer i have this ghd one and boy guys this is powerful oh my god the first time i used this i was quite literally blown away <laughs> Okay, so now my hair is like 90% dry. I've just parted it and we are ready to use the root booster. Same as last time, I'm gonna start with the usual steps of sectioning the hair. For this routine, you're gonna need the root booster, you're gonna need some Velcro rollers or just any rollers and some hair grips. Oh, and heat protection spray because this baby gets hot. I'm gonna start by spraying my hair. Technique's gonna be similar to last time, only this time I'm gonna go inwards because I feel like I want my blow dry to be like bouncy and just like going in rather than trying to flick it out. I'm gonna be taking the brush and I'm literally just gonna be brushing it through and spinning it round and doing that on the highest heat until it's pretty much dry. But then the extra step that I didn't do last time is that I'm gonna roll it up to the top and turn it onto the cool setting and then hold it there for like 10 seconds. I'm just gonna start off with the first bit and I feel like you'll just get the gist of it as I go along. <laughs> unravel it and there we have look how bouncy that is wow we don't want to lose that bounce so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my roller and I'm gonna just put it through the hair in the same way that I did the curl and then just pin that in place like so I'm gonna put two in so it's more secure so yeah that is pretty much it and that is the key to getting the volume the bounce and just making the curls last but also i'm putting my headphones in because this <laughs> this is the loudest hair dryer hair tool i have ever used in my life and it genuinely hurts my ears so i actually need to put headphones in to like protect them <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now we just have the fringe left. Got all my rollers in. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna brush it forward and then brush it backwards and then put the roller in. Okay, the rollers are in. I'm just gonna put on some hairspray. This is the Color Wow cult favorite firm and flexible hairspray. Just gonna kind of spritz it on whilst they're drying. And now we're gonna get into makeup. I feel like my makeup routine hasn't changed drastically. I've got a couple of old things and a couple of new things. But that's because like sometimes if it ain't broke, I'm not going to be fixing it, do you know what I mean? So I'll just use the same products. But one thing I think is new from the last one I did is this... Oh, I just realised it doesn't say it on the bottle. Did it say it on the bottle before? Anyway, it's the Refi Brow Gel. I've been using this for a while. I've actually got barely any of it left. I kind of have mixed feelings on this brow gel i don't know if that's gonna offend anybody i feel like i used it for the first time loved it got obsessed and then the more i've used it the less i've liked it i don't know maybe i'm doing something wrong but sometimes it goes a bit crusty guys and nobody wants crusty brows but anyway we'll see how it goes today so i just take the brow gel and put it through my brows i can already tell that these rollers are gonna annoy me when i'm doing my makeup I literally just do this really roughly. To be honest, I, I wanna get my brows done because they are so long at this point that I think they're just untamable. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just using the brush to like push them up and over. Like so. Brows are brushed up. Now I'm going to prime my face. Usually I would use my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, but I really wanted to show you guys this because this is the Primarni version. We all know how much I love Primark. It's just, I've got like a special relationship with Primark. I saw this on TikTok and it wasn't stocked in my local Primark. I was so annoyed. And then literally like months later, it got restocked. So I've been trying this out and no joke guys, it's legit like it's it's really good i've used it a few times i didn't want to just judge it on the first impressions but genuinely i've used it a few times and i love it the bobby brown face base i i love it but it is 48 pounds or something similar this is four pound 50 yeah it's just like a super rich moisturizer and it just i find it makes the perfect base i'm gonna go with my old favorite I'm just gonna wear this foundation probably until I'm like 80 because I just love it so much. It's the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15. I've probably done about five or six videos with this foundation because it just doesn't get better than this. And I'm gonna apply it with this It Cosmetics foundation brush. Love this brush so much. Definitely needs to be cleaned, um, but I do absolutely love it. It applies foundation so smoothly and just, oh. It's just like a dream. This combo is a dream. I'm trying to think if I have any life updates to give you guys. I don't think, sounds really boring, but I don't think anything major has happened in my life. Like the last biggest thing I did probably was go to Las Vegas. And if you watch my vlog, then you'll know all about that. If you haven't watched my vlog, go watch it because, oh my God, guys, it was the trip of a lifetime like i honestly it was just such a pinch me moment and i feel like that was 100 percent like one of my main highlights of 2022 but 2022 was a good year for me when you're in the year you never appreciate it that much until you look back i don't know maybe i've got rose tinted glasses but when i look back i'm like actually it was such a good yeah gonna go in with the bobby brown skin full cover concealer i do love this but oh my god it's a nightmare to keep in your makeup bag because look at this bearing in mind this is like not moved i've not like taken it anywhere so it's not been shaken about or anything it just leaks like constantly i have to keep it wrapped in a tissue in my makeup bag so if anyone from bobby brown product development is watching this can you can you sort that out because it's kind of annoying the product is really good so i do i do put up with it i'm just gonna put some 
under my eyes. This is in the shade Cool Sand. I like this because it's just a really brightening shade on me. Going in with my horrendously dirty beauty blender. This definitely needs to be cleaned more in 2023 or I should probably just get a new one. Next going in with a product that I am nearly running out of and I think I am gonna have to repurchase this because I love it. It's the Rodeal Bronze Glow Lighter Liquid Glow Bronze and Glow. Oh God, that was, did I say glow like 20 times then? <laughs> Gives you a glow if you didn't know. Um, I never used liquid um, bronzer and, until I got this and I kind of obsessed now. It's just, it's just great, it just blends in so nicely it just gives my face a little bit of satin satin a little bit of dimension and then as you can see i'm not oh, i don't want to put it underneath that one yet i'll do that in a sec i'm not precious about where i put it also i'm using this brush which snaps in half i have nothing to say about that just gonna buff that in try and give myself a jawline after eating my parents out of house and home at christmas <laughs> but i just love this because it's just so easy like look how easy this is i'm gonna have to actually put it underneath here <laughs> so that my face isn't lopsided when i take my curls out we are bronzed we are starting to get some color back in the face. Now I'm gonna go with my newest obsession, which is finally, I got my hands on one, I don't know what took me so long, a Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Encourage, and honestly, so I had this on my Christmas list, but I just, for some reason I couldn't, I didn't choose a shade, and bless my boyfriend went into the shop and was talking with the shop assistant for ages to try and find the perfect shade for me, and no joke, he picked the absolute perfect shade. So I'm so happy. It's kind of like a darker, almost like purpley, yeah, like a, like a purpley blush. Um, but it is so, so nice, so pigmented. So we're only gonna go with a dot on each cheek, like this. And then tiny one on the nose and then blend that out because less is definitely more with this baby see what i mean <laughs> like wow she's blushing so pretty okay blush is on i'm just gonna go in the tinsy bit of highlighter just kind of add some dimension love a bit of shine gonna go for like a super simple brown shimmery vibe on my eyes i feel like that's the eye look i wore every single day over christmas gonna go in with this brown shade from the afterglow palette and then follow up with that one to add some shimmer i definitely want 2023 to be a year where I get to travel a lot again. I feel like I was so lucky and blessed that I actually got to go on multiple holidays last year. And it's just like, if you can, like it's just so nice. Like it is just honestly the nicest thing, like making all these memories. I got to go on holiday with my friends and I went on holiday with my boyfriend. And then obviously I was really lucky to go on that trip with work as well. Like I just feel that I really wanna continue that energy into 2023 go in with the nars climax mascara another one that i've like rediscovered and i just actually love this mascara so much i've nearly finished this one but i do have another one ready to go so i will be going straight onto that one i just love this it's quite like a volumizing mascara thing that will <laughs> never change no matter how many years go by is that i will always get mascara on my eyelids i just cannot do my mascara without getting like even the tiniest bit on my eyelids gonna go in with a touch of the by terry hyaluronic hydra pressed powder just under my eyes to set that in recently i've been really obsessed with doing like fake freckles um i do actually have freckles but I feel like the foundation really covers them up and also 
it's not summer so they're not really out i like to just use this makeshift um freckle pen it's just a micro filling brow pencil from benefit and i just use this to kind of draw a few freckles where they naturally would be the first time i did this was when i was doing the cold girl makeup look and i actually just really liked it so since then i've just kind of been doing it leave them to dry for a second and then i'll just kind of like tap them in otherwise they look a bit crazy there we go cute and they fade throughout the day anyway so i feel like they just look more and more natural throughout the day and whilst i'm here i am just going to use this to fill in a few sparse areas on my brows i want to get my brows done because i think they have potential and the potential is not being used. I was going to go in with my all time favourite Bobbi Brown lip gloss, but I can't find it. And I know I took it out of my bag the other day, but I don't know where I've put it. And that is, that is a habit that I'm getting rid of in 2023 because the amount of times I do that in a week, oh my god. I give myself so much unnecessary stress, it's a joke. So anyway, I'm gonna go in instead with my NYX or MIX Professional Makeup Butter Gloss in the shade Praline, Praline, however you say it. And I'm literally just gonna pop this on. It's such a nice shade. Mm, and it smells so nice as well. And this would look really nice with lip liner, but sometimes, I don't know, sometimes on a daily, I just prefer to not wear lip liner and just go a little bit, oh, got a fly away there. <laughs> so that is the makeup done. Very kind of, you know, classic me. I think it's time to take my hair out, guys. I'm just gonna start at the bottom and move around. Wow. She's bouncy. look look at the bounce guys do you see what i mean okay let's take the last one out okay she she is really voluming right now don't tend to do that much honestly from this point i'll just kind of like brush my fingers through and then Where's my hairspray gone? Throw a bit of hairspray just to keep her in place. Oh, not in my eye though. <laughs> I mean, wow. Okay, I'm gonna try and stop like touching it now because in my last video, I got this comment telling me off for touching my hair too much. So without touching it guys, this is what the hair, sorry, I'm touching it. This is what the hair looks like as you can see lots of volume going on there and it really helps if you have layers like if you have layers you can get this kind of look i don't know what is i must have done something here <laughs> this bit of hair just keeps sticking up okay let's, let's just pretend but yeah guys that is the updated version the root booster routine i feel like i've cracked it and it gives me just some extra va va boom compared to last time if you stayed to the end of this video then thank you so much thanks for sticking around and thank you for coming back to the channel i know i've been slacking but i promise i'm gonna get back into it i promise you guys hopefully i will see you guys in the next one bye